Hey, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Revelations. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, the executive producer and your show host. This is a series on evangelism and discipleship, highlighting ministries all around the country that are serious about being the hands and the feet for the Lord, hoping that you, our viewer, will get a couple of revelations. God is still working and is a part for you to be playing in the body of Christ. So today we're in the heart of New Orleans, visiting the mission here, the New Orleans mission. And with me is David Botner, the executive director. David, thanks so much for letting our team spend a couple days with you guys and see what God's doing on the front lines. Chuck, thank you for coming and sharing some time with our staff. I know they've enjoyed having you here as well. Yeah, so uh, man, what a front lines ministry. Why don't you uh, give us a little overview and the, and the heartbeat of the ministry. Tell our viewers what you guys are doing. Well, our main focus at the New Orleans Mission is really our goal, which is to help hurting people. So God has sent me an amazing staff and they really know how to love and have compassion for a hurting people. With a state that has the second largest homeless population in the entire U.S. per capita, New Orleans, Louisiana, right. with over 5,000 homeless people, we know that we serve 250 homeless people sleep in our beds every single night. Right. But that still leaves Chuck, 4,750 people wow. that we haven't reached yet. Yeah. And that's really why we want to get this message out. We want people to partner with us in sharing the gospel, sharing love, and knowing that we can accomplish a whole lot more here at the mission. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about the, some of the programs or some of the services you guys offer as well. Well, obviously the, the obvious one is we provide meals for about 18,000 hot meals every single month. So that's not only the men and women that we serve in the mission, but that's also in our food programs that we take food out, which obviously you got to experience yesterday with our outreach director. Yeah. So that, that's, our, that's our main focus, because we believe that if we can utilize that as a tool, we can then get to the heart of a lot of folks where they begin to trust us and say, okay, tell me why you would even do this. Why would you bring me a meal? And that's really where the real ministry begins yeah. is sharing the love of Christ to a community that's really been hurt. Yeah. So we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the discipleship programs you guys have. And we hope our viewers continue to watch and, and hear some of the great testimonies and, and, and how the Lord is using the New Orleans mission to not only share the gospel, but demonstrate it in word and deed. Keep watching. Well, thanks for continuing to watch this episode on Revelations. We're visiting the New Orleans Mission, and with me is David Botner, the Executive Director. You know, evangelism, we're all commanded, Jesus said, to preach the gospel to every living creature. Yeah. And you guys are certainly getting that opportunity quite a few times a day. Talk to us about that. We believe that the gospel should be preached here because of the audience is so hurting, and they really need to hear the truth because once they leave these doors, the enemy is constantly lying to them. He constantly tells them that they have no value, they have no self-worth. So we believe in the morning from 8.30 to 9.30, we want to fill you up with what God says about you. And then from 1.30 to 2.30, we want to reaffirm what they heard in the morning with a different message. And then of course, we want to come back again from 6 to 7.15 at night. And we like to do that at least five times a week. And then on weekends, we break off into smaller groups and some, some intimate setting type Bible studies. But evangelism and sharing the gospel is really the mandate for any Christian. There's really no way around it. So it's really our focal point is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, to win the loss. But you know, Chuck, I think it's important to note that Winning the loss isn't just raising your hand and saying like, I accepted Jesus Christ. Right. We want our men and women that we encounter, whether it's on the street or in the mission, right. 
Amen. to know what accepting Jesus Christ means right. and living it out. You know, that's true. And there's this quote floating around saying, you know, preach the gospel all the time and when necessary, use words. Well, until you start talking about this Jesus dying for your sins, being buried and coming back to life, a resurrection and the gift of eternal life, you haven't begun to talk about the gospel. So you guys, you know, you're doing the good deeds. You're going out there too. You're also not even waiting for them to come to your door. You're going out into the community. And while you're giving out food, you guys are just awesome about talking about Jesus right there. What a better time to really share Jesus when you're actively going, like James says, when, when you're letting your deeds speak. We understand that the gospel is about showing too, but there's balance. It's, okay, now we've shown you that, hey, we're here to meet some physical needs, but let me tell you the reason why we're here. The reason why we go out and feed people isn't to feel good. Right. It's to meet a need and to share Christ. Because if we feed them today and they don't meet the one Savior, well, what happens tomorrow when they're hungry again or the next day? We want to introduce them to the one person that's going to be there tomorrow, the next day, and the next if our program dies. Who do they turn to? If right. we're not here, who do they go to? Right. Christ is there for them all the time. Yeah, and ultimately the goal is to get them dependent on Christ and not dependent on a program or even man. And that's our mission's core value is we don't want even this mission we don't want it dependent upon any one person, any government. We, we depend on Jesus Christ for all of our resources. And I believe that's why he continues to bless us. And we see miracle after miracle happen just in the area of our finances. And then we also see it in ministry into the public. Well, wouldn't it be great if they all got saved and you worked yourself out of a job? You know, it's so funny <laughs> that you said that, though. The first day that I came, that was when I looked and I spoke to the masses. I said, you know, it is our goal at the mission each year to see 250 new faces. Right. And that's how we can measure the level of success is we're seeing change, constant change, right. not enabling the same poor behaviors that got you into this mess. Amen to that. Keep watching, this is really good news. Hopefully you two can uh, hear about ways you can partner with a ministry like this to really share the gospel. Wow, thanks for watching another episode of Revelations. We're talking about discipleship next with David Botner, the executive director for the New Orleans Mission. I love this ministry because you guys are really working with people. You're mentoring them. You're taking them through the Word of God. Talk about the strategy, some of the programs you guys have in place to do discipleship. Well, Chuck, that was really instrumental in my personal life. When I met the Lord, my pastor sat down with me every Monday, and he just walked me through, like, every crazy question that a Christian would ask and he sat down and he, he, he really spoiled me. So it made a huge impact in my life. So I knew that when we came to the mission that had to be something that we implemented. So being a disciple for us isn't just about us preaching to you two, three times a day because really you can get that on TV. Right. But what we want is real discipleship. That means like Jesus walked that means I'm in relationship with you, Chuck. That means I'm talking to you about your life. We're in small groups, we're fellowshipping. So although we share the gospel three times a day and we do have our preaching schedule, it's important that those 72 people that we have in discipleship, which is an amazing number to me, yeah. that's, that's like one third of our guests are in our discipleship program. Wow. So those individuals have to meet with a small group and they get intimate with one of our staff members and then there's accountability. Right. And then once a gentleman is in our discipleship class for a minimum of 30 days, he can work in one of our 
either our lawn care or the ladies can be involved with Heavenly Hands or any one of our job placement programs. Right. So we will actually go out and find work, put these men to work, but instead of just giving them a paycheck and then enabling them to continue in poor behaviors, we right. show them how to save that money right. so that in one year when they complete our discipleship course, they now have enough resources to go either start on their own career path right. or create a business on their own, get an apartment. So it's really just about changing their whole perspective yeah. on life. Yeah, you know, you gotta redevelop that new work ethic again because I always say God gave Adam a job before he even brought him a woman. Because <laughs> if you ain't got no job, you're not gonna have no woman, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's funny you say that, but he, but he also introduced himself before he met the woman to himself. Right. Adam had to develop a relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's kind of why we do it the way we do it. That first 30, 60 days, you need to meet Jesus. Right. You, need to, you need to meet that foundation before you can take on that job, right. before you can meet that lady. Right. All those desires that God has for these women, right. uh, or men, both, the lady's a man, vice right. versa. Right. He still wants intimacy with him first, and that's really the foundation we try to push the disciples to know. Amen. True Christ followers. Yes. That's discipleship. Keep watching. We're going to talk about discipleship and what it looks like to, uh, to mentor and to help someone apply biblical principles and to walk it out. Thanks for continuing to watch this episode on Revelations. We're highlighting the New Orleans mission, a real front lines ministry that is certainly being in the hands and feet for the Lord. We're hoping you got a couple of revelations by now that uh, when you do it unto one of the least of these, you're doing it unto Christ. So Dave Botner, the executive director, how can people get involved and support such a great ministry like New Orleans Mission? Well, Chuck, the first thing that they could do is pray for this mission. Really pray for our staff, Pray for the ministry that we do here, the outreach. Pray for our teams that we would touch the public, that we would be able to see Christ be glorified. Yeah. And just pray that God's favor would continue to flourish over and through this mission. And then the second way, you can come here and serve. Uh, we can always use volunteers. And I believe that when people come and serve and they start to flow in that gift of really loving and reaching out to a hurting people, yeah. it really opens up so many of their eyes to what God wants to do for them in their own personal ministries yeah, in their ministries lives. two ways back and forth, yeah. Absolutely. And then of course, a very important way for the New Orleans mission is to give. Um, not any more important than the, either, the other two, but we are completely funded solely from donors. We are not a uh, government or state funded facility because we share the gospel of Jesus Christ and we will not keep Jesus out of any part of our building. So because we do that, we really rely on people like that are watching the show now. We just yeah. ask them to, to give, and they can do that online yeah. or by mailing to us. So. Even while we're, we're filming the last couple of days, people just pull up, you know, and you got the donation center in the back, and they got bags of clothes and all kinds of stuff, and, and uh, it was almost like a drive through It was amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And, and we're grateful for it. We're grateful for it. And people can know that with the New Orleans mission, that it's going to go to a good cause. I took this job, I don't know if you know Chuck, for a dollar for the year. Yeah. So it's really not about the money for me. It's really about meeting the needs of the yeah. people. I love what I do for one reason, to yeah. share Christ. Well, they say you can't outgive God, and when you're given to His work, uh, he just has a way of, of blessing you all the way around. It's just amazing. So, yes, yeah, that's good stuff. Keep watching. We're going to talk about ways that you can partner with and get involved with the New Orleans mission and be able to reap a harvest before Christ's glorious return.
Well, I want to thank our viewers for watching another episode of Revelations. And Dave, again, thank you so much for uh, just letting us spend a couple days and not only watch it, but be a part of it and, and do some ministry ourselves. What a great team you have. I love them all. Yes. Got a lot of personalities, a lot of fun guys, but guys that and, and ladies that really love God. And I'm just so grateful for the staff that God has given me here because, honestly, I couldn't do any of it without them. Yeah, well, you're dealing with a lot of people, and it certainly takes people to minister to people. So, yes. you know, and I always say God's been in the team building since Adam and Eve. Yes, that's <laughs> right. That's good. Well, I'd like to take an opportunity to pray with you, with our viewers watching, and ask uh, that the Holy Spirit, you know, show us our next steps in ministry. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, and the power of this Holy Spirit that lives in us, we uh, first praise you and thank you for saving us. And we thank you for the opportunity to serve you, Lord. You said those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And uh, I just pray for David and the staff, the board of directors, even the volunteers, those in the community that have been dropping off donations, that they would have more than enough resources to meet those urgent needs as they minister to the whole person, physically, spiritually, emotionally. We pray that you give the counselors wisdom as they continue to uh, just speak truth into their lives and that these uh, seeds of truth would be planted on fertile soil that would bear 30, 60, 100 as far as fruit and uh, return on the word of God that's been planted in their souls. We pray with our viewers right now and ask, Lord, if there's any way that we can get involved, that you would show us our part. And we ask you to do this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, again, thanks for watching. I want to encourage you one more time to take a look at the website. It's neworleansmission.org. And until our next episode of Revelations, may you and your family be blessed. Thanks again for watching.